what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here now before I go any further into this video if you haven't played through the campaign yet for the curse of Osiris and don't want any spoilers I suggest you leave now because the three exotics you do see in the thumbnail and within the title of this video are basically a part of the story so yes if you don't want any spoilers leave now okay so in this video i will tell you guys how to get these three easy simple to get exotics and it is quite straightforward the three exotics in question here are the aeon safe for the titan the aeon swift for the hunter and the aeon soul for the warlock but hey, before we go any further people, do you want to win some epic loot? On this video I am giving away exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and much more. To win, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server, linked within that video description. Okay, so the three exotics in question today are all obtained from doing and completing the Curse of Osiris DLC campaign missions. I literally ran through them all solo in a little over an hour and it was so so easy. It was a little disappointing it was that easy I ain't gonna lie. My main issue besides actually being really easy is the fact we hardly learn or see anything of Osiris. Considering the DLC is based around him it's weird we rarely see him. So upon beating Potato who's this last boss's name it ain't Potato but that's what I'm gonna call him who is the companion's last boss. We then get this two minute cutscene with Osiris and Ikora and so forth. And after that we are sent to Brother Vance within the lighthouse. Here you get to choose one piece of Mercury armor. Looking great and I can't wait to grind all of this. Then we are sent to Ikora there within the tower. Who has waiting for you one specific armor piece for the class you complete the story on. Like I said, it's the Aeon Safe for the Titan, the Aeon Swift for the Hunter, and the Aeon Soul for the Warlock. Now these exotics do work together depending who on your team has them equipped. As you can see, the intrinsic perk on each offers the same perk basically. That is, on the Hunter, dodging grants the following to nearby Aeon cool allies, basically team members near you wearing these exotics, grenade energy to Warlocks, barricade energy to Titans, and dodge energy to Hunters. On the Warlock the same is given to teammates upon throwing grenades and on the Titan it's basically summoning a barricade. Now thinking about it, these could be quite OP in the right circumstances, they really could. It just depends on how much energy they actually give you guys upon doing what's needed to actually get that grenade, uh, barricade and dodge energy. I do however look super forward to the strategies people find using these exotic gauntlets. So these are three new exotics to the Curse of Osiris DLC and as soon as I find out how you unlock any more I will let you guys know right here on my channel. So if you're new around here definitely subscribe for sure. If you never want to miss a video I upload when it comes to Destiny 2 hit that bell button you see next to that subscribe button that way you will receive email notifications of when I do upload. Now during the recent launch trailer we actually saw these exotics but they were lying up with blue kind of spikes. Now it took me ages to try and figure out how this actually worked. I thought there was some kind of ornament you applied to them but that isn't the case. What actually happens is when you're standing next to somebody else, don't have to be in your fire team, who also has one of the three uh, of these matching exotics, it is the Aeon Swift, the Aeon Soul, and the Aeon Safe. If they have any of these equipped, you will see your gauntlets will light up with these blue spikes on them, so that's pretty epic. And that's actually how they light up. I mean, I was so confused at first, it's unbelievable. But yes, guys, this is how you get three easy exotics, straightforward, just complete the campaign story, which is a little underwhelming but to be honest it's kind of short and sweet it isn't dragged out but it is like i said it is kind of short now i am going to do a complete run through of the campaign story of life so expect that probably either later or early tomorrow morning but guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people i will see you on that next one always in the wrong